So, you know, it's that time of year, getting into the summer season. Many people are taking advantage of the weather and, you know, going for a hike. Yeah, and many hikers enjoy taking their pets with them. Of course, uh, you know, when they're out touring the great outdoors, it's, it's great stimulation for your, your pet, obviously, and for yourself to get, you know, good exercise. Uh, here's the thing. There are a few things you need to know when you take your animals out on the trails. Here to tell us more about it, veterinarian and author Dr. Ruth McPeak joins us. Good morning. Glad to have you with us this morning. Hi, thanks for having me on. Um, let's start with the very basic. I know you've got some tips for us. The basic being know your pet's ability mm -hmm. and breed before mm -hmm. you even start. Yes, absolutely. It's really important that people pick an appropriate hike for their particular dog. So you want to make sure that it's not too long a hike for your dog. You want to make sure that if you have a brachycephalic breed like my little guy here, these are the flat-faced, uh, flat-nosed breeds like pugs, bulldogs, and Frenchies. These guys are very sensitive to heat, and they don't have a lot of stamina. So you want to make sure you're not taking them on a long hike, especially when it's really hot outside, because they are very susceptible to heat stroke and can get heat exhaustion very quickly. Well, along those lines, in fact, just like people, pets need to be hydrated and perhaps even more so because we sweat, they don't sweat like we do. Yes. Yes, um, they don't sweat the way we do and they don't expel heat as easily as we do. They pant and they do sweat a little bit on their, their feet. Um, but it's really important that you bring plenty of water and that you keep them hydrated. You need to make sure you're packing water for yourself and your pet. It's important not to forget bowls. I like these from Loving Pets, the Bella Roma Bowl, because they're collapsible and they have this little ring so you can attach it to your dog's harness or to your backpack, but really important not to forget a bowl and to make sure you have plenty of water for you and your pets. And then, you know, equally as important for yourself and your pet, just be aware of the dangers, uh, what you can encounter while hiking. You mean snakes? Yes. <laughs> yes, the yes. The one reason yeah. I don't California, go hiking? California, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this is rattlesnake season. And so you may see a rattlesnake on the trail. It's really important that people keep their pets on a leash. This is the best way you have to protect your pet from a rattlesnake. It enables you to pull them back to safety and keep them away from that snake. It also enables you to keep them out of the brush or bushes where snakes may be hiding. So again, keep them on the trail, make sure that they're on a leash. And then you need to watch out for these little guys. Foxtails yeah. are all over the place right now in California. So really watch out for them because they can get stuck in their nose, their ears, their eyes, in between their little toes. Um, and these are, you know, really bad. And they, a lot of times you have to take them to a veterinarian to have them removed. So watch out for foxtails. Keep your pets away from these weeds and burrs. That's, uh, you know what, that's really important. In fact, uh, one of my little rescues had to have surgery to, to remove a uh, foxtail because they can, be, they can really? become, oh yeah, Where? oh yeah. They can, they can become yeah. really stuck in between their, their paws. Where did he have surgery? Yes. On his paw. Oh, on his paw. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. They can get buried, you know, they, they burr in there and then, you know, getting them out is not an easy oh. thing sometimes. You know, you also, doctor, want to make sure you, you practice good pet etiquette. You want to clean up after your pets. A lot of people don't. Yes. Yes. Should. Thank you. Thank you for reminding everyone. Yes, we want to be good hikers. We want to make sure we obey the rules. So first of all, don't take your pet on a hike that is not um, dog friendly. Make sure it's a hike that it, uh, does allow dogs. Most hikes will also have signs about whether they need to be on a leash. Again, please follow the rules and make sure you're packing out any waste with you, picking it up and taking it with you. All right, Dr. McBee, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Helpful tips and advice. I think Tony's ready to go for a hike. <laughs> or not. Maybe. <laughs> we try. <laughs> thanks, doctor. Appreciate Take care. it. Hey, that's not my takeaway from that segment. I didn't think that Tony no. was suddenly heading out for a hike. No, I don't mix well with rattlesnakes. <laughs> I feel like you have the upper hand. <laughs>